What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. I think what day of the week it is. Yes, it's been that kind of a week already. So I am kind of taking a step back over the next two weeks just to get my own stuff all situated and stuff. So if you do send me an email or a text or a message, it may take a little bit to get back to you. I'm trying to catch up. I have a collection here that I have to go through for somebody. I have to get stuff ready for whatnot, the store. I'm even thinking about, I'm pretty sure, I've, as of right now, I'm postponing going to Indiana for the show on Saturday because I just have too much inventory here right now. And I think it might look like I will come live Friday night on YouTube. We'll do a slab um, sale type deal, I'm thinking. I'll let you guys know Friday morning for sure. I'll post a video if I'm going to do it Friday night. Saturday looks like it'll be the whatnot low end dollar sudden deaths across the board because I got a ton of stuff here. Um, but yeah, so just be prepared. If you guys are, uh, if you got my email earlier, um, that explains everything just so everybody knows. Everything's still moving on. Just I won't have a lot of time for chit chat that are jibber jabber conversations because I need to get a lot of stuff straight and I want to like try to start venturing doing different types of videos too with sports cards so i gotta kind of learn how to be a better video editor in a way and that, i know it's not from anything you guys have put out but just something i want to move on with all right on to today's video so this has been a topic here recently the ebay authenticity and i think i spelled that wrong so we're gonna fix that while we're live well, not really live, but doing the video. Authenticity. Okay, I think that's right now. I'll look at it. If it's wrong again, you'll see me clicking away. If I'm off completely, my bad. Well, anyhow, we all know that this has already been implemented. It's mostly with raw cards over X amount of dollars. I forget because I keep getting so many emails from eBay on this. Um eventually i could see anything from like 200 dollars and up going to these experts quotation marks around that um we already seen the emails about i was trying to find it with the graded cards now graded cards are going to start going out so from what i'm understanding and if ebay if you're watching this because you watched the other videos please make some comments on this to help explain this because there's just so much information that a lot of it is overlapping and people are confused. What I would do would be eBay Authenticity Guarantee Update 3 and put a date on it. That way people know if you're making changes. And post it to where it's easy access and not me trying to dig around off of Google. That's the one thing I would ask. All right. So what it looks like is all the ungraded cards are going to SGC. All the graded cards, regardless of whose grading them, is going to PSA to be authenticated. I have mixed emotions about that, if that is true. But we'll see what's going on because I want to show you guys here. They're doing sneakers, watches, handbags, trading cards. I mean... It's insane. We've had so many cards already come back damaged and where fingers are, of course, being pointed. Oh, we got it like that. Oh, no. The seller had a damage. It's shipping it. Blah, blah, blah. Well, here comes the part with it. If I insure my card and it arrives at whoever is doing the authentication, I don't know it was damaged. So if it sits there for a while until the owner gets it, if it goes past 30 days, guess what? I can't put a claim in. That's if you go on USPS or you, yeah, USPS.com. Trust me, I've done many claims now. You have a time frame for all that. So somebody in that middle step at, at the authenticity needs to be like, hey, this card's damaged and actually pay attention to what's in the freaking listing. Yeah, I'm a little upset over this stuff. <laughs> and um, do your job. Do what you're getting paid for. If you don't like it and you're just there to punch a freaking card every day and get some money in your pocket, you need to go. This is a service that needs to be looked into better. 
And by means of my no expert, but heck, I've ran big, huge companies before of stuff. And I mean, this here, simple thing to do. When it comes in, your person has to do a QC or quality check in case nobody or somebody doesn't understand QC because I will use a lot of military lingo. You look at it within that first week. Does this card match what's in the description? Is it that card? Is there any noticeable damage to this that I can see in that picture? If not, then it goes into step two. That's when I should get an email or something like how PSA, hey, received, we do not notice any damage. Because from that point on, it's from that authenticity to the buyer. If there's damage to it, it comes between them two and not the seller. Let's protect everybody and do something right. And let's knock out the fancy little sleeves. And I'll tell you what, the little sticker stuff and stuff onto it, you got to find a better way to seal it if you're going to do that. People are going to start removing that stuff, and you're going to have all kind of fake stuff being put in every which way. So if eBay's watching this, please look into that. Heck, reach out to me. I'll give you a whole big byline for it. I won't even charge you guys for what I can see and tell you what needs to be fixed onto it at all. Heck, I'll get a couple people in it that have been doing cards for 15 plus years. We can help you guys. Get people that want to make sure that something's going to be successful and not going to punch a clock every day to get a paycheck. All right, so right now it says no cost to you. I see this eventually going to a couple different ways, all right? Now, I want to talk more about what I see with this in the future. Not Nothing has been put out. Eventually, as you can see, it says for a limited time, we're going to have to pay for it. Either buyers or sellers are going to have to pay for it. If you're going to make somebody pay for it, it should be up to the buyer. And if they choose that they don't want to have the authentication process, unless it's something major it comes back, like wrong card to package or... You know, something like that, then hey, so be it. You know, you guys need to figure that gray area out there completely because that's going to be one of the key points to you. The graded card piece, um, I kind of get, but I kind of don't get. I know there's a lot of fake slabs out there, mostly PSA fake slabs. We do have the Beckett, so you guys know about those at the bottom of the die cast the dots missing and a serial number but i'm sure by now that's been already fixed by the uh fake slab people out there to where it even looks more realistic now but i i still think i kind of like it and i kind of don't because here psa's taking on another task if it is true that they are doing this and we're still backlogged on cards so i'm hoping that like this piece here's a separate department they've hired people for that and it's not going to affect the grading of our cards. Don't know. But it's just my thoughts at this point with the video. The next part that I can see happening is if we're going to start doing all this for items. Oh, there it is. $750 and over. Um, are we going to start doing wax and sealed cases too? Because please don't tell me it's going to BBCE. <laughs> G.I. Joe Pokemon up there. I mean, I've always had, like, this warm fuzzy about that place to begin with. Uh, it just, a lot of things I kind of get you could kind of tell on stuff. But, you know, I just would not really want my stuff going up there after some of the miscues that went on with the, not just the Logan Paul thing, but if you guys really search onto it, you'll see where, there's been conversations of uh, packs of Pokemon stuff that have gone through that probably shouldn't have, that were, you know, not the correct thing. That that was another video a while back. I know other people have covered it, like PokeRev and I believe Sports Card Radio might have talked about because they're always in that stuff too. It, it's probably in the blowout forums. I, I wouldn't doubt it there. But I could see that being the next thing, sealed wax. Then it's going to have to go to BBCE. If it's not already wrapped, it's going to have to get wrapped by them and then be sent out to the customer. So we're waiting even longer now to get stuff to us. So the days, if this is going to go on where it's going to be every single item, eBay is not going to be a flipper's paradise anymore for the person buying. Yes, I used to flipper uh, terminology since we got to go with the 2022 lingo anymore. 
it's not going to be the paradise because they can probably wait anywhere two weeks, month to get this to them. Prices shoot down. You know, hopefully a person doesn't take um, returns because then all of a sudden, because it dropped the price, somebody couldn't move it trying to make a buck. They want to return. You lose out, have to give money back. I can see it going bad a bunch of different ways. What I do see is no wax being added to this. I just think of the big picture by looking at this stuff, and I think wax is going to be key to their next ingredient onto this. And then somehow, some way, eBay allows breakers to be on there, but there's people paying high amounts of money for certain teams and certain breaks on there. We'll use NT, Flawless, stuff like that. 10 case freaking Dynasty breaks and stuff like that. So are we going to be mailing those cards too next out there to be certified and looked at? Oh my goodness. I mean, where I think this is could have been a lot better of a... Uh, what do you want to call it, idea fairy out there, is that the buyer elects to have this, pays the cost if they want it authenticated, and there's certain stipulations to where once it's received by the authentication team, within 72 hours they have to overlook it, make sure that there's nothing different from the description of that card, that way there's the seller is not waiting umpteen days or it falls out without their insurance because it's expired now after 30 days. I also look at this as that there's many, many bad things that have happened from the time of card shifting, not being sealed correctly, to you name it. I mean, we've seen Titan Cards this video originally with a booklet. Um, it, it's been crazy of a process, but I think it really—if they're going to make this into a program, they need to look better into it and find people that have been in a hobby for a while, a long time, not somebody that has a whole bunch of YouTube views and Instagram followers and everything else, but somebody that understands. These processes, in order to make the program better, I mean, even if they would even have a group session of like 15 to 20 people have been doing this for a long time, like a town hall or something, I think a lot could be done with it. But right now, I think it has many broken aspects to it. All right, guys, I've been going over the 10-minute mark. I do apologize. I was trying to keep all videos this week under 10 minutes. But let me know what you guys think offhand of this whole eBay uh, authenticity guarantee. Do you think there's a way to make the program better? Do you see wax now being a part of this since we've already done grading cards? And uh, if they do do wax, who's certifying it? Is it going to be BBCE? Because we already know that they're kind of in with PSA with doing packs and everything. So just the whole retrospective at all um how many people out there have already stopped buying high-end cards off ebay and they're going to other platforms to where they don't have to put up with the long wait as well too and then a chance of being damaged all right guys appreciate the comments just something that's been hit me in the back of the head now for about a week or two now i want to try to get some good opinion out there feel free to look at each other's comments comment back keep it respectful as always and I will see you guys next Friday for overtime. Have a good one.